The squirrel seemed to sense that Garo needed a friend. It's always interesting to see unique animal pairs interacting. And this story shows one of the most unique pairs around. This is Garo the lion and a squirrel that's become a friend of sorts to him. Dero's tail began in the cramped, inhospitable cages of a Mexican private zoo. Zoos are normally great places for animals. They offer shelter, food, and protection for a lot of threatened species. So as tempting as it is to think zoos are just a prison for the animals, the reality is pretty different. A good zoo can save species from extinction by having members of a species that are still ready to breed. They're also a great way for the public to see the invaluable beauty of the natural world and what it means to protect it. But the zoo Garo came from wasn't a very good one, judging from his injuries. Garo had worn teeth and a severe neck injury. The years of neglect also left a clear mark on the lion's mental health. Garo was depressed and not nearly as energetic or lively as a lion would be. Dero was rescued by a Colorado-based group, ending the years of neglect. Now that he was in the U.S., it was time to help the lion get back on his feet. Garo now had proper health care and a wide living space. It may take some time for him to fully recover, but small progress is still progress. One of the more noteworthy parts of Garo's story begins here. It's the squirrel he met. So what business does this tree-dwelling rodent have with the lion? Turns out Garo and the 13-striped ground squirrel are buddies and Garo is perfectly fine with the little guy sharing his food. The sanctuary wrote on Facebook an African lion is easily around 400 pounds as an adult, yet Garo doesn't lay a finger on the squirrel. What could the reason be? How sure are we that Garo is friends with this squirrel? Well, it's not that crazy. As dangerous an animal as a lion is, Garo's attitude from his years of neglect and rehab might be playing a part here. He might not be as hostile to the small critter as a wild lion might. Every day Garo loves to get a little whipping cream after he finishes his meat, and the squirrel has decided he likes the whipping cream just as much. It's been a scene we see repeated more and more often, and we wanted to share the sweet bond they have with you. The sanctuary continued in the post and unconventional bonds with big carnivores have happened before. Look nowhere else than the story of Baloo the bear, Lee the lion, and Shere Khan the tiger. The trio from Noah's Ark Animal Sanctuary formed a bond that they proved to be very real. Of course, this is an exceptional case, and it's best not to try to force a friendship with a big wild carnivore. But it is very sweet to see this one unique friendship in action.